Hey YouTube, how we doing today? Well, we got something pretty cool in from Real Steel. It's an item that was exclusive only to BattleBox customers. That's what we were told, but I found something a little different. So stay tuned after you roll that intro. I should say after I roll that intro, I'm going to show you what came in that box. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Now, I know y'all already know what's in the box because you clicked on the title, you clicked on the thumbnail. You know we're going to be taking a look at Real Steel's G5 Metamorph. Now, before we get too much further into this one, guys, right down here, there's going to be a little channel watermark popping up. Please go ahead, hover over that thing, and just subscribe right away. Get it out your way now that we ain't got to do it later. Now, before I show you the blade... It came with, well, you know, the usual paperwork from Real Steel. It came with a neat little, I don't know, chamois cloth. But hey, now I touched on this in a recent video. I like this blade, and here it is. This is the only part that makes it exclusive to BattleBox, is this color. They call it Subdued Green. Now, I found it. I found this blade out on other websites in other colors, all right? But I'll get to the part that says it was supposed to be exclusive to BattleBox, but it's kind of, hmm, I'm seeing this popping up on Amazon now. But anyway, we'll get to that in just a moment, all right? I wanted this honestly because of the front flipper. This is how you get her open. Now, I'm not good enough to do it one-handed, like I've seen some people who have large giganto hands that can hold it one hand and, yeah, get her flipped open. I thought it might be easy, but that's the one thing I'm actually starting to hate about it. It's a small gentleman's blade that I have to flip open two-handed. I love the fit and finish. It's just awesome. I like the fact that the liner lock is supposed to be hidden but it's not severely recessed but it's really not a hindrance to me and i love the fact that even though they call it a drop point it just looks neat like a, a spear point stabby type as a gentleman's blade i did find it really really interesting it's kind of like a recessed lanyard hole which i thought was way cool i had a gut paracord to get it through there but no big deal right okay so let's go get in the stats and everything else. Now this is a God. I hope I'm saying his name right. An Ostep Hell design, and this guy's got some pretty famous blades out there, and he's always pushing the limits, trying to go further and further and further, which I think is freaking awesome. And as you can see, it is kind of giganto. Ah, we're gonna back it up a little. Oh, I'm just holding it too close. <laughs> But it's got an overall length of 8 inches, closed it's about 4.5, and the blade is 3.5 inches. Ooh, wow, I forgot to get a weight on it. Uh, is it on here on the paperwork? 2.65 ounces. Yeah, I thought it felt kind of lightweight. So, cool. Alright, it does have, as you can see, the plain edge. They say it's drop point style, which I can kind of see, but it almost looks spear point to me, to be honest. And it has a satiny finish, which I really do like. That and stone wash, seriously, like my two favorite blade finishes out there. Now, it has 14 <laughs> CZ, like Charlie Zulu, 8 November, Sandvik stainless steel. It also has an aluminum ALU 7075 handle and backspacer for comfort, as they put it. And as I said, you do have a liner lock that's supposed to be recessed to make it a little bit easier, but I get how it matches up beautifully with the blade. So that's kind of cool. To me, it's kind of cool. All right. Now, it does have a one-position pocket clip that you have to carry this blade tip up. And in case you were wondering, yes, it is made in China. Do they have it on here? No, some of the other stuff from Real Steel on the box will actually have a little sticker that says made in china but as you can see right there subdued green 
All right. So there's the stats. Now let's do some fun stuff that we all like to do. Just normal paracord. Pull test. No problem. Flip her over. Let's go with a slice test. All right. One bet's going to go through four, no problem. Cool. Have your stock paper. See, trying to go slow because I was taught that's a true measure of its actual sharpness, not just you know flipping through. But it goes through. Ah, well, I like it. Curly Q goes through paper. No prouch. No problem. All right, and Mr. Ratchet Strat. Yep. No problem. Okay. So let's see. Not, not a bunch of fuzz or whatever right there. So I'll take that. Okay, now here's the fun part, all right? I took a look on Amazon, which surprised me that I actually found one. Um, I pulled up BattleBox's um, app, and I went looking there, and I looked on Blade HQ. So on Blade HQ, blades that are exactly like this one but different color handle are $59.60. On BattleBox, this one is running $69.99, currently as of December 6, 2018. And I found it on Amazon, this one, for $65. It's being sold exclusively by BattleBox. Now, what got me is nowhere on any of those three did I see a rating for it. But I got to tell you, I'd give it 4 out of 5, just because of the difficulty of the front flipper. Other than that, everything else on this thing is just absolutely beautiful to me, and I'm glad to have it in my collection. But I want to know what you think. I want your questions, your comments, your love, your hatred, everything, man. Leave it down below. You know I'm going to get back to you. Now, with all that fun stuff being said, if you're a first-time viewer of the channel, I want to thank you so much for taking a moment of your day to view this video. It means the world to me that you chose one of mine when I know there's many, many, many options out there in YouTube. Now, for you longtime viewers of the channel who have yet to subscribe, right here, right here in this moment, is your second chance at redemption. Right down there is going to be a large channel logo. Go ahead and click on that thing, man. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you beat up that subscribe, you know, bell, whatever, please click on the bell icon. All right. That's going to notify you every single time that I upload a brand new video. Now, speaking of videos, two are going to pop up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My tabletop look at a battle box exclusive, Real Steel G5 Metamorph. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an incredible rest of your day.